Mark, if you would. Do I have this on right, brother? Back there? All right, good. We're looking forward to the week, and uh, each service we'll do a little bit more music, all right? And so tonight we'll do another song, and then Monday we'll do another song. Uh, I mean, we'll add to the number, you know what I mean? And uh, so we'll do that this week. I um, have recently just, instead of, let me put it this way, I'm not a pastor, so there are some things that I don't have to do. You say, what do you mean by that? Well, I'm just going to preach this message, and if it goes really quickly, it's just going to go really quickly, all right? Pastors have to hit, like, certain targets so that, you know, you, he, so that when you have biscuits in the oven at home or whatever, you can time them correctly and all that type of stuff, so pastor has to be a whole lot more consistent than I do, all right? But, but friends here this morning, I want to share this with you, this I was up late last night, not in a bad way, but just so excited to share this message with you. Mark chapter number 8. Mark chapter number 8. I don't know, I might have said 6, but it's Mark chapter number 8. And that's pretty cool how you have the, the Bible verses in the, on the screen. Is that something that we could do maybe starting tonight or something if I talk with you? Is that something we can? Okay. That's, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's a nice, that's a nice thing. Mark chapter number 8. So when Jesus heals, we, we're going to look at one of his miracles here. And what sets this apart is that Jesus didn't heal him all the way until he touched him a second time. Now, most of the time, all the time, we come across Jesus doing a miracle in Scripture. He didn't, like, heal the lame man halfway. 